Hi everyone, Talia from Zart Art and today we're going to be creating a sunflower dip pen drawing inspired by Van Gogh. Van Gogh was a post-impressionist artist who did a lot of paintings but he also did a lot of pen and ink drawings of landscapes. So today we're going to be drawing from his sunflower series of paintings but recreating them with a dip pen instead of a paintbrush. So here I have a little example of what we'll be creating today. So this is based off his sunflower work and we're going to be using one of these dip pens. So if you're not familiar with a dip pen, here we have our holder for our pen and we've got our nibs which are interchangeable. So if you have a look very closely at the different nibs, I'll get a large one and a small one so you can see the difference. So the different size nibs will give you different size lines and for every holder you can transfer a nib. So in this set for example we've got a very thin nib moving all the way to a very thick nib and every one of those nibs will fit in the holder. So you only really need one holder to work with but I like to have four so that I don't always have to go into changing my nibs as I'm drawing. Now what I would recommend is if you are not familiar with the dip pen, you haven't used it before, to have a little bit of practice on a sheet of paper before you go working on a good copy because it is a little bit tricky to get the hang of if you haven't used it before. Very different from a normal pen that we use today. So for the dip pen, we will be using some drawing inks. So I've got some Art Spectrum drawing inks which are better dispersed into little bottles or even if you've got something small that you can easily dip your pen into. But these little bottles are handy because you can seal them up later and then use them for future projects and you can mix the colours together as well to create secondary colours. So if you're mixing your colours and you want to use them for later, I would recommend having some small bottles that you can disperse the ink into. So we first dip the pen in ink just above the middle hole called the vent and shake off any excess ink. So as you're testing out the inks, you might wanna try some different nib sizes just so you get a feeling for how thick the lines are when you're drawing with them. And as you're drawing, what you'll notice is that the ink will start to run out. So you will need to consistently dip your nib into ink as you're working. And if you want to change colors, you can either dip it in some water and wipe it off or use a wet cloth to clean off the ink completely. And while you're drawing, also try to maintain an even pressure evenly to both of the tines of the nib. So once you're happy and you've had a little bit of a practice and you're feeling confident with the dip pen, we're going to start on our sunflowers. Now this picture is a four size and if you were doing something this large, I would recommend leaving two lessons to do your good copy because it does take quite a while, especially if you haven't used dip pens before. So I'm going to work just on a smaller scale so it'll be a bit of a quicker drawing just to show you how to use the pens and create a composition. To begin, I'm going to draw out my design just really lightly in pencil because I will erase it when I'm drawing over it in ink. So just having a look at Van Gogh's Sunflower series, you might want to use that as inspiration or even a still life and draw from that.
So I've drawn my very simple picture onto my card. And when you're choosing what surface to work on, just normal cartridge is fine. Um, cardstock is good as well, but you probably don't want to be using something that has a lot of texture in it because it is much harder for the dip pen and the tines on the end to move over something that is textured. So try and choose something that's nice and smooth to work over. Now I'm going to work section from section on my little drawing. So changing colors as I go and also erasing the sections that I'm working on because we're using some lighter colors we might see the pencil marks underneath the ink so as I'm working I'm going to erase the areas that I'm working over so as you're working and deciding which colors you're using and which lines you're working on you might want to consider what size dip pen or what size nib you're using and what kind of textures you want to create or what kind of lines you want to use. So Van Gogh is quite well known for his creation of movement and almost a sense of vibration in a lot of his works, which is achieved by short, sharp strokes. So if you're trying to emulate that aesthetic, then you might want to think about what size nib you're using and how thick or how short your lines are as well. As you're working, be careful of where you're placing your hand because the ink will take a few minutes, probably about 10 to 15 minutes to completely dry, maybe even longer if you've got some thicker areas. So just be careful of where you are placing your hand and where you're working because it can smudge quite easily.
now I've finished drawing in some of my lines and as you can see I've worked between the thick nib and the thin nib. I've done mostly just short sharp lines to create that sense of movement and vibration that Van Gogh had in some of his works and I've used some longer lines as well just to create a little bit of contrast between the areas of the drawing but there's a lot of different ways you can go about this whether you want to look at his sunflower works or even look at landscapes and work from your own designs. It's a really great activity to practice some drawing skills with a tool that you might not have used before. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.